Okay, so what we're gonna have a look at here is the selection tool and the position tool in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so if we come to the, the middle menu here, we can bring up some of the, the timeline editing tools. You can see we've got the selection tool, the shortcut is A for that, and then just a couple of tools down, we've got the position tool. Okay, these are both for moving clips around on the timeline, and we're just gonna have a look at the, the different ways in which these work. So the select tool will be the default tool that pops up when you're working with Final Cut Pro for the first time. So we've got three clips on the timeline here. First of all, the selection tool allows you to select individual clips and to select them and delete them, but also to move them around as well. Okay, so if we grab this clip um, at the end here, we can pull it and drag it, and it will shuffle like a deck of cards um, on the timeline in Final Cut. The clips will move around based upon where we pull the clip we've selected to. Now, the duration of the timeline will stay the same in this instance, okay? The other thing we can do with the selection tool, the select tool, is actually move clips up to be connected clips rather than clips on the main storyline. So if we drag this clip and put it up, you can see we can now connect a clip to the main storyline rather than it being on that main storyline itself. Let's drop this guy back here. Now, with the position tool, we can grab this clip and pull it up and connect it. But what you can see is different here, is if we look at the end of the timeline, we're left with this slug at the end. Okay, so the position tool is assuming that we want to keep the, the timeline the same duration. Okay, and that's the same if we take a step back by tapping Command Z here, if we want to move this clip around. Okay, so if we drag this back in time, you can see I've got a slug at the end there that's growing in time and I'm also overwriting this clip before so I'm not putting this clip in between sections of the other clip it's actually moving it to a different position and in this case overwriting part of this clip here okay now you need to be aware of what's happening when we when we do this when we move clips around so for instance if we drag this first clip and move it forward we can overwrite all or part of a clip okay so you can see that second clip in our timeline has completely disappeared now that we've moved it and if we position it back here we end up with a slug in that place rather than the move tool. Now this can be really useful when you're moving clips around in a timeline but also kind of tricky too. Um, the position tool also allows us to do a straight lift so if we want to lift a clip off the timeline without these other clips kind of dropping back into place then we can do that with the position tool as well, which is really useful to be able to do in some instances when you're managing your edit or audio within an edit. So let's take another a step back here. Now with the position tool and the move tool, we also have some different options when we're cutting and editing a clip. So I'm just going to put these first two clips in order. This clip in the middle should be at the beginning. So I'm going to jump back and I have already to the selection tool and I'm going to move this to the beginning. Now this clip is an edit that flows into this different angle so we can see the acrobatics that are going on in the background. Now the tool we want to use to make this edit is the selection tool. Okay. Now with the selection tool, if we select the in or out points at the end of a clip, we're actually going to do a ripple edit, Okay, which means that we're going to shorten the clip on the timeline. So if we click and drag this to the right, you can see now up in the top right, we can see our second clip and we can match the movement here to the movement in the foreground. Okay, so let's play this through. Okay, so we have a smooth edit from one shot to another. Okay, if we use the position tool for that same edit, then what you'll see will happen is when we drag this in, it's not going to perform a ripple edit, it's going to move the endpoint, but it's going to leave a slug. Um, in between. So this is useful if you want to create space between two clips. Okay. Obviously you're deleting part of this clip as well as you do this, but ultimately you're creating this slug here which would allow you to um, connect a clip um, in that space. Okay. It's also useful if you want to add some black space at the beginning of your video, you can select all the clips on your timeline and then drag them forward um, with the position tool to do that too. Okay, so you can see now we've moved all our clips and we've got a black space at the beginning of our video. So that's a quick run through of how to use the, the select tool on the timeline where we're shuffling clips around like a deck of cards, as you can see here, um, and also the position tool where we're moving clips around but actually 
making edits that are overwriting other parts of the timeline. So they're both tools that you need to understand, but in particular, the position tool, when you begin to use it, just be careful with it because it can overwrite and delete parts of your edit. Okay, I hope that tutorial has been useful. If you have any questions about Final Cut, about using the position or the move tool, don't hesitate to get in touch with me on Twitter at Ben Housel or to check out my website, www.benhousel.com.